You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and you are seeing a completely white screen. Because today, I am going to show you the set. Because you've seen this set, right? This is my white screen. And then there was a set set up for the Lundby Dollhouses. That's the second complete studio set I have. It is now set up for my mini kitchen set. So this is kind of the introduction video to that channel. And then I will have a video there just kind of doing the same type of announcement. But I wanted to give everybody here a first look at the new kitchen set. So let's head over to studio number two. All right, here we go. I am completely zoomed in because I wanted to show you slowly what this set is. Now, you have seen a majority of the items here, including this oven. So let me zoom back out. This is going to be my new mini cooking set. Now, this set has taken many, 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 many months, probably a year, to finally put together to get working the way I went working, and I have tested this oven. This oven that you see here used to be white, and I changed it to match a little bit better with the cabinets that I have set up here. So let me start from the far right here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, you've seen that table and chairs. The refrigerator, far right. Now I'll move in closer, but I just wanted to give you a quick look here. It's filled with... Uh, Boxes and other food items. The magnets on their outside. I made those from um, doll pieces that I put magnets on them to stick to my refrigerator. On top of the refrigerator, that little TV, that's actually a salt and pepper shaker. I've got a lot of cool things to show you. There is a clock on the wall, which does work. And then next to that refrigerator is the dishwasher. And then the dishwasher does power up. I've taken... Uh, the electrical system and converted it so that it works with regular wall power and then the sink that you see there does run water and drain and then there's the stove you've seen this stove I converted it for this set because I wanted this type of stove and that's why I've been testing them see all along I've been testing the stoves to see which one I wanted to fit into the set and then there's other stuff here there's a corner cabinet another cabinet drawers are filled with items now there is an original stove peeking just on the left, but I can't use that stove because the original set that you see here, the stove never heated up. It was more for pretend. And then next to that is a double oven. Now that oven also does not heat up. It would just have light. And it was kind of like the set itself um, didn't light up. Now you can see inside the cabinets, I added lights to all of those. So what, let me do this. Let me move a little bit closer and I'll show you how things work. Kind of gets you, you know, in the mood for this new channel. All right, we are at the table and chairs. Now, you've seen this table. See, I've been kind of practicing with it, getting ready to bring food here. And this is the actual set. There's going to be this rug underneath the table, and then I have this runner down the middle, and then there is the refrigerator. I'm not going to show you that salt and pepper shaker, but that TV is a salt and pepper shaker. But look inside. My refrigerator is ready and stocked. Now, I'm going to cook with real food. Remember that. But this is kind of my setup. The freezer does open. And then next to that, this is actually a dishwasher. And this turns on. I have it hooked up, wired, and ready to go. There is actually a water storage unit. So watch. I will turn this on. It's going to be a little louder than we would know, hopefully like. But now it is running. And if you look inside the glass you can see the water. See that? So I'll be able to wash my dishes in that. All right. And then next to that is my sink. Now the sink actually works. So let me turn this off. Okay. And I have actual running water. I need to readjust my tripod here. Now here again, I'm still kind of staging some things. There's a salt and pepper shaker, a little sifter, and then I have my wash side, my dry side, my wash side. So watch when I turn on the sink. So that's actually running to a little reservoir and giving me water so I can actually wash and it drains down the drain back into the reservoir. Now these little slide things open so it's a place where I can put like little boxes and stuff to kind of match the set. 
Let me turn that off. And then let's move over to the oven. Now you have seen this oven. I have used this oven in a video. It's one that I liked. I refinished it in this color, um, cleaned up the inside, got the top set. I have all kinds of little pans that you've seen. Now let me just uh, stop here and move over to the corner side. All right, here we go. This is the corner cabinet that also has a built-in cutting board, which matches my other cutting boards. And then all of these drawers do have extra tools in them. So I'll be working with the different tools that are close to the scale, as close as I can get. And then what you see here, these are actually real refrigerator magnets for your regular size refrigerator, but I thought they looked pretty neat as add-ons here. Even the little can opener looks like it fits the set. The mixer and the blender both work. They have to be powered up. Now this set, I don't know if you notice in the back corner there, there is a plug-in. actually came with little appliances, but I wanted these particular appliances because they are functional appliances in miniature. Here's the stovetop that just lights up, but I'm not going to use it. I just have it as a surface here. So overall, I would say I'm pretty set. I have a lot of stuff I have not shown you. Here, let me show you the wallpaper. I actually wallpapered the back to kind of match the set. That's what I'm looking for. And the flooring is old linoleum tile back from the 60s. Check that out. All right, so when I come back, I'm going to have you... Well, I'll just wrap it up. All right, there you go. So tell me what you think in the comments. And I do have to say thank you all for being so patient with me. It's taken quite a while for me to test ovens, to test different cooking techniques in miniature so that I am ready now for this set. And this set is going to be strictly for cooking real food and it's going to be in its own channel. I thought a lot of people who just like mini cooking will just want to watch those videos so they will be isolated there. Now, when I do ovens like Easy Bake and other light bulb baking ovens and testing ovens and cleaning ovens and all that other stuff that I do, that'll stay on Lucky Penny Shop. So this way, people who just want to watch the cooking part can watch them. And I will continue to keep the video flow going in Lucky Penny Shop and then probably start off with maybe one a week here on the new channel. And I will put that name of the new channel in the description. You can probably subscribe. There won't be any videos there except maybe an intro video. But otherwise, I just have to say thanks for being supportive. Thanks for being patient. And, uh, you know, let me know in the comments what you think. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.